Good afternoon everybody. So um, we're about to go ahead and show you what we've done in the trailer. I missed out one day's worth of filming. Um, what you're seeing today is the is Wednesday this past week and today Friday what we've done so far. Uh, the trailer's really coming along nicely so far and I'm about to show you what it looks like. Okay, so we turn around, we walk in and we have a framework. This is basically all the way from around here and here is framework for cabinets and countertops. It's all made out of two by twos, perfect strength for what I need. Um, doesn't take up too much space and will give me space inside to be able to put shelving so that I can keep all of my supplies in here. Uh, as you can see, the refrigerator. The next box that you're seeing past the refrigerator, the, uh, the plywood box is the generator box that I built. I still have to seal it from the inside, but the generators are out there now. And these are the countertops. So I have 26 inch deep countertops along the back. I have anywhere from 18 to 17 inches deep, 18 close to the walls and 17 inches because I made a little bit of a jog in where the window goes, as you can see. Um, so because of that jog in, it gives me 17 inches um, by the window. And this is basically where we're up to. Electrical is all done, electrical is all working. Um, putting some furring strips up the wall to be able to close in all the electrical above and once that's done we're gonna go ahead and get real counters I'm gonna stain these by code here in Florida we're not allowed to use uh, plain wood um, even if it's uh, polyurethane or so I was told it has to be a totally non uh, non porous surface I'm gonna be using um, the same type of stuff they use on boats uh, it's like chopping board material and it should look very nice, it'll be a nice dark black. And then the flooring is going to land up being, uh, being laminate, um, waterproof laminate, like the Pergo style flooring, but that is going to go in at the end. And once we get that on the floor, it'll look very nice. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to put doors in just yet, just from an expense standpoint. I may end up putting curtains and then put the doors later, um, even though in reality having doors is better so that things don't fall out every time I drive. But I may have to put nets or something up in instead. We'll see. I'm not sure yet which way is going to be better. I'm going to quickly walk you around just to show you what the other side of the trailer looks like. Um, now, just to give you one quick view here, this is going to be the serving window. Uh, right here on the serving window, I'm going to be making building a... A piece of wood shelf that will come inside here and will open up out so we'll end up with a shelf that drops out all the way across an almost eight foot long shelf that will drop out and you know people can put their keys their phones their whatever else on there while they're ordering and then coming around this is the generator slide in and slide out as you can see here are my two generators and you can see how well they go in and out Okay, still got to clean it and I have to put some sort of a bracket, not a bracket, a hasp to be able to stop them from sliding. These slides did not come with, um, with locks and if they did it would have been an extra inch deep which I could not tend, I couldn't use that in the trailer uh, just because it would have taken too much space inside. So these are the two WEN generators, 3800 watts each, 3800 peak watts, 3400 running watts and that's it. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.